Hey guys, Shaggy here, welcome to a new guide video. Today I'll be teaching you guys how to play Rise in Season 10. So this is a mid game to late game champion, so it's not something you pick if you want to dominate the early laning phase. Um, he is quite weak early on, obviously, because he has a incredible late game uh, in terms of damage output and teamfighter potential and speed pushing as well. So what you want to do early game is that you max out your Q first, it's your main damage spell, and then your E second. Uh, it also gives some damage uh, with the flux, and then your W last. You put points into your ultimate whenever possible, and then what you want to focus on in the laning phase is that you want to play it out really passive, because your goal is to get your tier, and that's at 500 gold if you have the sapphire crystal. So that's what you want to focus on, uh, getting that tier, and then you teleport back. Um, you want to get that Rod of Ages and Archangel Staff because that's when you start getting some damage. So until that you just play it out passive and focus on farming. Farming only and nothing else early game. That's all you have to do. Uh, because you outscale pretty much anyone at that point when you get to the late game. And that's when you can start blowing people up. But until that you just uh, chill for a bit. And not too aggressive. I'm just gonna last it here. Um, as you can see, we are against the J4, he's really good at ganking early game, so we really don't want to shove the wave. Because if we do that, then we will just get camped, because we are immobile. J4 is top side, he should help him. So, when you trade with your opponent, what you want to do is that you want to spread the flux. The flux here, because when your Q hits it, then it will deal more damage, okay? Uh, but it's not something you want to do early on, unless you're going to push, but... Using uh, the flux is how you trade. And what you have to keep in mind is that when you use your W or E, then the cooldown of your Q will always reset. So that's why whenever you combo someone, you always want to start with your Q if possible. Then you use your other abilities, and then you always use Q between your abilities. That's how you get a lot of DPS off. I'm just trading with him here, because I'm going to base. And I have teleport, so I don't have to worry. I just want to make sure that I do not get ganked. I'm going to recall here. He has teleport as well. So, Tia, that's uh, something you want to get stacked ASAP. So that's why we want to rush this as the first item always. And right after this, we'll build the Rod of Ages. Thing is, Rice gets damage with more mana, so that's why you build items like Argent, the Staff, and Rod of Ages, because they give a lot of mana. Now we want to start using abilities so we can stack this item here. Now the wave is in a really good spot, but I assume that. Silas will uh, teleport back. We really don't want to push because we saw J4 in the river uh, bottom side. There's a pretty high chance that we will get ganked if we push. So the wave is in a really good spot right now. Um, it is freezing. That means I'm really safe from ganks at the moment. J4 spot side. I'm just gonna put a ping bot here. Uh, I can't really help them. Uh, when you play Rise, you kind of have to sacrifice your teammates if they get caught too much, because you can't really do much. You are a late game champion, your main goal is always to farm out and get your items. J4 might be here, so I'm not sure if I want to risk anything. I really don't, to be honest, because I just want more items. So when you trade with him, you can just... Uh, when he goes nearby minions, then you can E the minion, so the uh, flux spreads. Really don't have that much early game damage, but... Nice. Awesome, this should be another kill, right? Oh no, okay. That's still worth it, that's a nice run by set. He needs to watch out, because Silas has a lot of healing. That people tend to underestimate a lot. So Rise's damage early game is pretty much non-existent. 
But um, every time you upgrade your ultimate, then your Q will, your empowered Q will deal more damage. So that's also when you have your power spikes. That's at level 6, 11, and 16. Level 16 is like your biggest uh, super power spike. You just one shot everything pretty much. You can see here the um, empower Q will the damage is increased to forty percent. So it makes it a bit bit easier to wait clear at this point, but we still don't have a lot of damage because we mainly have uh, mana items and HP right now. We want those scaling items like Rod of Ages and Icon the Staff, and then we want to get the stacked ASAP, and then that's when we deal so much damage. Until that, just chill out for a bit. I'm gonna push this before I roam. Uh, this is Hylos coming in. I'm gonna, he's gonna steal Nautilus ultimate, I think. They, they did not respect the teleport. It's fine though, because I crashed this way into his turret, so he's going to lose all of that. You really can't do much when people roam a lot in the early game. But as you start getting more items, then your wave clear will become insane, and that's when you can really punish them when they roam. I'm gonna poke him like this here. I use E on the minion when he goes nearby, so the flux spreads to him, and then I proc it with Q. I really don't want to push too much, because I don't have my uh, flash up, and J4 might be around here. I'm gonna get a water around here. Okay, there's a ward here. He should watch out because Silas might be roaming topside. Good thing he isn't. Do you see the way clear? We have zero damage items, but we're still dealing so much damage to the wave. If I was here, top lane, uh, bot lane is not going that well. Uh, it is a bit unfortunate, but it is what it is. Nice. That's great. So our jungler is doing good, and we also doing good mid lane. We just need to go even, then we basically win, cause we outscale so hard. Like we outscale all of them here. Our goal is to go even, get our items, and then we start carrying. Um, another tip is that uh, when you're in base, uh, healing up and stuff and buying items, then spam your Q because it will give you a free stacks on your T item. And you get the mana regen while in base anyway, so you're not going to lose anything. So that's a way to get the stack faster. Right, we need 1k gold for the Rod of Ages. Still need to watch out though, because we don't have flash here. So I can't walk too far up. Keep in mind that he has a stopwatch. He has the... Um, what's it called? The Corrupting Potion and the Time Up Tonic, so his laning phase is really good. But it doesn't matter too much, cause we can easily handle him. And Ryze is a solid pick into Silas as well, cause he can't really do much with the ultimate. Punish him like this here. Right, pushing this in. Now I'm just gonna howl around this side here. Because he's shoved in, so I can walk around here and if something happens, then I can help out my team. I do have teleport up, and I also want to recall pretty soon, when I have enough of my Rod of Ages. Oh, they had this one warded. There's no ultimate on Jinx. That is pretty... Um, Silas is pretty low HP, but... 
Never get baited by this cause he heals for a lot with his W. I'm gonna zone him here so he doesn't ult and kill him. And ult might be dead actually. Get this guy. Nice. Awesome. I didn't want him to reach Lucian so I keep chasing him here. Great. And now when I base I have my Rod of Ages. Gonna stay for another way. Uh, just so I can shove this wave in here. I don't want it to freeze. That means he will get a lot of freeze here. Alright, we can teleport back here. We can get our Rod of Ages and then tier 1 boots. Just spam your Q in base here so you can stack your tier item faster. You have the free mana regen anyway. I like to use it while running back as well. Um, you don't re it only costs 40 mana anyway. And you have such a huge mana pool that it doesn't really matter. You just want this one stacked ASAP and when we have our Archangel's death then we are really strong. From that point onwards we are just super strong so there's not much they can do when they try to fight us. we will be winning pretty much everything at that point so we just have to be patient until we reach that stage and farm for our stuff. The way Cleon rise is really good. Um, that's also why it's so fun playing him. You can show so many people in. Get that tower plate. There we go. Defo might be here. Okay, we got his flash out. And his ultimate. Should be that I think. Oh what? What was that? He heals for so much, that is crazy. Anyway, this is a super good trade. And we got level 11 so that means our Q uh, damage, uh, flux damage is increased to 70% so we have even more damage right now so that's another big power spike I'm just gonna base here how's it looking bot side? it's pretty fine I'm just gonna switch to the um, oracle lens right now cause we are ahead so that means we will um, invade them more often so clearing out the vision is really good because that could potentially force them to face take us and then we can catch them out. Power changes Goblin died, I don't know how. Right, got the cannon gonna push this one and then probably look to roam around the bottom side the drake is spawning in 47 seconds as well oh lucian he's pushing alone he's probably dead yeah that's a big mistake like uh his support was not in lane so he should never be that far up Oh, he should have been bot side, I think, Nolus. I could have went bot side as well, but... I don't think we'll be able to catch them. They're probably going to base right now. We want to secure vision around the drake, though. Nolus is moving up, so I want to show this one in. He's roaming top. Then doing the drake? Okay. 
see if we can stop them. Killed. Okay, so it's all so I'm just gonna show mid and get that turret possibly. Go. So I want to, uh, him to use that thing there. Oh, that was so lucky. If I hit him there, he would have been dead for sure. Because we have so much damage right now, he definitely can't 1v1 us. I'm gonna clear wards if there are any here around. Because we want to take vision control in their jungle right now. So when you reach this uh, mid game stage as rice, you want to. Hopefully be in the side lane, uh, so you can get some solo XP and gold. You are really good as a split pusher, but also as a team fighter, so... What you do really depends on the game, but usually you want to be on the side lane, so you can keep up in gold and uh, XP. That means you will constantly scale. And if the enemy mid laner stays mid all the game, then he will share XP with the other, so he will fall behind a, a bit, while you will keep scaling. So now we have our two uh, power spike items. We just need this one uh, transformed. Then we have a massive power spike, mid game power spike of rice. Right, so I'm gonna go. I want Lucian to be in the mid lane because it's safer for him, and then I go to the side lane. I do have teleport up, so if they get caught, then I can teleport in and help them out. They almost died there. Probably more people headed towards spot size, so I'm just gonna back off a little bit here. Alice is here. He ult that wave. Why would he do that? Doesn't make sense. Stay here and push this wave. Spread flux to all of the minions and then Q. That's easy way to wave clear. If I have to teleport yet, probably not. I think they made it out. Okay, so we got the Seraph's Embrace. Okay, I can't teleport in here. There was some... Um, they all extend away too much. I'm gonna steal this one. So we don't have a Jinx with a red buff. That would be really annoying. Oh yeah, he didn't wait long enough. Well, I made it out. <laughs> Oh what, he still had his ultimate on? Okay. That was interesting. I expected that he would at least have used his ultimate because my entire team almost died, basically. Oh, that's nice. That was so nice. Do have anything up? He has a fly shop, but he doesn't have ultimate up just yet. I have a lot of gold as well, so I should probably... Yeah, I should go bottom side, get the blue buff as well, and... So the next item is situational, that means you build um, according to the game. If they have a lot of healing, then you get the Immortal Nomicon. If they are immobile champions, then you can get the um, Rylas as well, just to be able to kite them much better. And also if they're squishy, then you can also get the Immortal Nomicon. 
because it has flat magic pen, so it deals more damage. Um, to targets with less uh, defensive stats. Oh, he should wait out. Get this item here. Gonna teleport this way. Oh, they got it. Now they just need to get out. Nice. I can't walk in here because he's swarming me. Ooh, that's uh, Jinx popping off in team fights. Support coming out from Victor. So the thing is, Mural Nomicon is pretty much always good in this meta because of the Ocean Drakes and people tend to have a lot of healing anyways from items or their champion kits, so... It's pretty much good in every situation. If he gets within range, then I can pop her easily. Gonna steal the jungle camps. Rice can do them really fast because of his uh, flux. So if you don't have anything to do, like if you push the wave already, then just walk to your allies or the enemy uh, wraps a camp and just steal those. Really need that little 16, that's our biggest power spike. I don't have teleport up, so I really need to be careful. Back off, I got another blasting wand. And I'm gonna sell this refillable potion and get control wards. Cause we really need vision. At this stage, because the game is more even right now, because Jinx is so fat. There's so much CS that I really don't want to walk mid and do nothing. So what I'm doing right now is just, I'm going to each side lane and just picking up huge waves. That gives me such a massive lead as you can see here. He's level 12 while I'm level 15. And I almost have a 100 CS lead to him. So if he ever meets me in a side lane, I'll just pop him. A 100 CS lead already, and it's only 23 minutes. That's why you want to stay in the side lane. So you can get all that golden XP for yourself. I really can't push, uh, push much farther, cause we don't have vision, so can be risky. I don't have flash up yet, so I'm not going to try anything here. Let's should get that wave. Don't give up on waves. Just taking pretty much everything. I have enough of my Moral Nomicon right now. So that means I will counter the healing of Nami and Silas as well. And even J4 because they have Conqueror so it even counters that as well. Now I just want to wait for my flash and then we can start fighting. We almost have a 10 CS per minute uh, because we went to the silence. So that's what you have to do to not lose CS in the mid game when people start grouping up and the ARM start. It's that you just go to the side lane, pick up waves and then you ro rotate back. He wanted to catch me out here. There's probably a ward here, I said. No, that's nothing. So I am scaling for free right now. They do have a victor, he also scales pretty good. But in the end, it comes down to uh, your mechanics and game awareness. Get out the vision here. The thing is, I can teleport. No, 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 no. So what here? You see, I almost popped her just with three abilities. We got the heal out. Ooh, wow. Okay. Nice. 
We should do the Baron right now because the enemy jungler is dead. So that one is really free, so we're going for the Baron. Ignore the Drake. We can probably send one guy to do the Drake, but better to take the safe way. Take the Baron first and then we can go to the Drake. So Silas might have teleport, but I doubt there's a lot he can do because J4 is dead. To see how far ahead um, I am of everyone else, I'm level 16. Silas is level 13, J4 is level 12, their top laner is level uh, 13 as well. This all comes from me uh, split pushing in the side lane. That's how you establish such a massive CS lead and XP. Okay, we went down, so looking at the items, there are no real MR items, that means we can go for more damage. So the Rabadon Stats Cap is the biggest AP boost item you can get, so that's the one we will be um, building towards. Now let's get this blue buff here, and then we want to group our team because we have the Baron buff. Alternatively, I can also push another wave in the side lane because I do have my teleport up. Uh, Lucian is pushing solo. I'm not sure if that's a smart idea. We want to group. Somebody split pushing. It has to be either me or Set. So this is the late game of Rice. I can flash her here, but I'm not sure if it's worth if it's worth it. Um, I want to hit Jinx though. Oh, well, if he hits a hook, then I can just instantly pop someone. Ooh, that's a lot of damage I had right there. I hit him with the um, block spread and then my uh, Q. So what's going to happen here is probably J4 will be um, looking to ult me, catch me, and then Silas will come in with his ultimate. So that's what I want to avoid. I do have my flash up. Also keep in mind that Victor's um, fully upgraded uh, hex core will slow. It basically has the passive of Aurelas. So he can kite us if he wants. Okay, yeah, we want to get the bottom side here. If they oh they should have buffed the minions. If they buff the minions then it will have been much harder for him to take it out. It is really hard to siege against them because they have really good wave clear with Victor and uh, Jinx. This is a really bad fight for us. Really bad because I couldn't get in. Oh, this was so bad. They can't engage like that. Um, that was really bad. But some of us were zoned off, so we couldn't really go in, and they tried to dive their comp. That, that's something you should never do. But that makes this game more even, so it's even more fun to play. We just wasted Baron though, but... My focus here is... Um, Jinx. She is the fed member of the team. If she goes down, then... They will lose the team fight. If she stays alive, then they will most likely win it. Almost got him. Can't ult him in, because I don't have anything up. Okay, instead of teleporting, I'm gonna go here. If we can go on Jinx. Oh, nice. There we go. I don't have my ultimate quite yet. Can we get her? Uh, probably not. We don't really have a wave coming in either. Take my ultimate, guys. Go get this guy. And. I think Lucian should be able to get him easily. Oh, Nami is fucking really far up.
Who's spawning? Jinx is spawning soon, so we need to get out of here. Now that, that's really good. Now we just need to back off. I can get my Reblon Stealth Cap, so now I just instantly pop people. I'm gonna tank this one. He just plays right there. Yeah, that's a bit too greedy for me. I thought I could take all of them, but yeah, I didn't respect that. But the jungler is dead, so they can't really secure objectives. They just need to defend until I'm alive, and then we'll see what we can do. I think, she, yeah, she did flash right there. They can't die right now, because if they die, then they won't spawn in time for the... Uh... Ooh, if that works out, that was... That is so crazy. That's so well played. Damn, Sid is so OP on this patch. What is here? Alright, there we go. Go, alright. I'm gonna teleport to the top tower here. I'm gonna get the Astor Watch. I'm probably going to need it because I don't have my uh, summoner set. That's a big way bottom side as well. I'm just gonna ignore that even though it's really tempting but I want this burn. and see if I can uh, zone J4 too. I'm gonna try to zone him. Alright, I think we zoned him. An ulti and so cut him off if possible. Should be dead. Nice. Great. Uh, now we just reset and then we group up. So this is probably the last fight so I'm gonna get the elixir here. 500 gold. Now we all want to go to the bottom side. Now we just go fight bot lane because everything is taken mid and top side so there's nothing for us to do. Go bottom side and we don't dive them, we just slowly push and then wait for their mistakes. Wait for them to overextend and then we pop them. Still need to watch out for them camping somewhere though. I'm gonna let Nautilus lead the way. Just slowly siege like this here. We have the lead so we don't want to do the same mistake like last time and just trying to dive them. So this is how you push. There we go. We have a buffed, uh, we have a minion wave coming from the top side as well so we should go and buff that way also. Keeping this side buffed and this one as well, so that's a huge way of crashing in. And I slowly poke them. Oh, he almost saved him. Huh, interesting. Anyways, this is the uh, rice video, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I hope you learned something. And as usual, thank you so much for watching, and see you guys in the next video.